Today we're taking time off from Stockholm to talk about one of the most special regions of Sweden, Dalarna. The home of Dalahästen, Morakniven and Falu Röfärg, a brand of red color that dominates the houses dotted all over the landscape in Sweden. Not to mention culinary giants Falukorv and Knäckebröd. Dalarna is ripe with traditions that in some cases stem thousands of years back in time. Most Swedes know Dalarna as the region where Swedish king Gustav Vasa rallied the troops against the usurper king Christian Tyrann from Denmark in the early 1500s. According to legend, Gustav Vasa outran the Danish troops on skis, and as a tribute, people come from all corners of Sweden to partake in the ski race Vasaloppet every year. It's a great region to visit, as you get a bit of both, nature-wise. The south of Sweden's open fields and the great forests and mountains of the north. The upper parts of Dalarna around Orsa, Mora and Elvdalen are intoxicatingly beautiful and brings to mind the magic of painter John Bauer, who captured the soul of Swedish nature and folklore with his paintings. The houses of two great Swedish artists that actually lived in Dalarna, Carl Larsson and Anders Sorn, can actually be visited in Sundborn and Mora and looks basically the same as when they lived there in the early 1900s. I vacationed a couple of days in Dalarna and saw deep forests, lush mountains, weird one-sided roads that used to transport cannons, a waterfall straight out of a dream, and the cutest färbod I've ever seen. A färbod is a collection of buildings used to take care of animals such as goats, pigs and cows on pasture away from the farm. Usually it's positioned on a bit higher altitudes and nowadays the few färbods that still exist are mainly kept to uphold tradition and show tourists the old ways. The färbod next to mountain Hyckeberget outside of Elvdalen is open for tourists and even has a small café with traditional fika. Here you can visit the animals in the free and pet a cow if so inclined. Ask a Swede about färbod and chances are you'll get a frosty look. They might think you want to know more about Sweden's most famous porno, Färbojantan, the färbod girl. It was recorded in Dalarna in 1978 under false pretense. The production crew told people they were making a cultural movie and got access to all kinds of barnyards and old buildings. When the premiere of the movie took place in Orsa, people still believed it was a movie that paid tribute to the heritage of Dalarna and many visitors, well, left the screening early. If you want to get a crash course in Dalarna knowledge, Fabo Jantan actually isn't all that bad information wise. You'd at least know what a falukorv is and can be used for after viewing. Um, at second thought, maybe you shouldn't watch Fabo Jantan. Go to Dalarna instead. It's beautiful and will definitely give you an approximation of what Sweden's all about.